Welcome to The Breakfast Club. I'm Kazoom. And this is a low quality video because I have something going in the background. I am, uh, for a friend of mine, I'm transferring VHS to digital and uh, a bunch of uh, some home movies. And uh, I was having a few problems uh, with a particular tape and I finally got it working again. But anyway, um, got a little bit of a deadline and, I, and I'm, I, I need to make sure that I meet that. I, I don't want to go past that. So anyway, you know how there's those sayings of, uh, uh, oh, well, I'm not racist, comma, but period, period, period. Oh, I'm not homophobic, but you know those those kinds of uh, of statements because it's usually followed uh, uh, almost always followed by something that's represents the thing that they said that they're not and i think what should be added to that is oh i'm not a trump supporter but oh okay great let's let's, let's what's going to happen what's this going to say now you know anyway I've had to step away from Facebook uh, in order to not jeopardize a friendship with uh, someone I've known for over 13 years um, in person. Um, he is being one of those people, you know, I'm not a Trump supporter, but and then, you know, everything, any, any criticism, I mean, any criticism of Trump, he's on it. And yet, all throughout all the past, you know, when I've worked with him as a musician, he's shoved forth the mindset that uh, the president we have doesn't matter, makes no difference, and both parties are the same. And he still kind of shoves that forth now. But he'll continually make comments about Obama. And he did when Obama was president, too, and, I, and I, I, you know, he's, he's, at least he's consistent, I guess. But he doesn't show a care in the world about some of those same elements about Trump. And anything that's really, really messed up about uh, things that Trump is doing, you know, he kind of has the editor, well, you know, at least it's not uh, 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 doing drone bombs. And I'm going, well, I'm thinking to myself, Trump's going to be doing drone bombs. Trump isn't against drone bombs. Oh, I guess that tape is done. All right. But Trump isn't against drone bombs. Trump will probably be doing the same stuff. Trump is going to, I mean, it, what it's looking like, well, let's go to, where well, I guess we're going to go to war with North Korea and uh, a bunch of wars in the Middle East, and let's build up our military bigger than it's ever been, even though it's bigger than the nine most largest countries combined. Isn't that, isn't that how big our military is, how much military spending we, we do? But let's ramp it up even more, and let's, let's cut a whole bunch of really important programs for our infrastructure, even though he said he's an infrastructure person, and, and let's put it into the wall and into the military. Um, you know, posts that say things like that. Well, I mean, I had one recently where, I, and, and this is kind of this is kind of the final straw for me. Um, I posted something showing that he that that Trump is uh, cutting funding for Meals on Wheels uh, and wants to you know put it into uh, the wall, the Great Wall of the United States. But. Uh, the wall that he claimed uh, Mexico is going to pay for, but uh, we have to pay for it first. But we're never probably, even if it actually does get built, uh, we're still never going to probably get around to finding some magical way to have them build it. Anyway, I posted something about uh, him cutting, you know, Meals on Wheels. It was a link to a, uh... oh, which was it? I, I... Was it a Kyle Kalinske video, or was it a David Pakman video? It was probably a David Pakman video because Kyle Kalinske is usually a little more thorough in the way that he 
will study a subject. So, so it was probably David Pakman, and uh, you know his response is, "Well, have have you volunteered for uh, meal on, Meals on Wheels?" And I'm thinking to myself, "What? Just it, I'm out. I'm out. I I have no." Uh, I, I I don't know how to respond to that. And he continually blames everyone. You know, the, the people of the United States, you're you're the you know, basically declaring that we're the stupid ones, we shouldn't have allowed this system to be in place in the first place, and well there's truth to that, yes, but he constantly goes on as if as if he has some sort of answer and the answer has usually been, well, let's upright, do an uprising against the government. We all know that's not going to work. How are you going to, how are you going to do that? Some sort of armed uprising? Your little uh, pop guns and BB guns in contrast to military weapons? Yeah, that's, that's going to work out really well, yeah. Uh, and then he finally admits that that's not going to work, so then he starts going into a boy, uh, let, we need to, you know, go get into boycotting. Okay, well, what, what companies should we boycott? Because it, it's, you know, and how far do we take this? You know, we've got all these different companies that, um, uh, that's, that's these small, I should say, we have a very small handful of corporations that make 99% of the products that we use. It's the same sort of thing as what you find in media. So what, 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 you, what are you going to boycott? And he kind of goes, well, you know, well, you claiming you have, so you, well, how can you claim you have all the answers? I said, I don't. I don't claim I have all the answers. Well, you know, when I, when I go up on stage and, and perform, uh, I, I talk about some of this stuff. <laughs> and I'm like, well, yes. I was kind of crude about this. Uh, I shouldn't have said it, but I did. And I was like, look, um, your shows don't get that many people going to it, and when you're up on that stage, half the time, nobody pays attention to what you're saying anyway. I get a lot more people uh, uh, listening to what I'm saying on YouTube than, uh, than you do on your, on, uh, when you're doing a show like that. Um... Yeah, I probably shouldn't have said that, but whatever. Um, that was one of the things that was going to chance, uh, you know, je jeopardizing the friendship. But he, it was all right. Um, but yeah, I, I, I'm, uh, I'm not, I'm not down with that. If someone would just at least say, well, yeah, they're a Trump supporter. I mean, at least I could, I could have respect for that because they're honest about their opinion. Oh yeah, I'm a right winger. I'm a Trump supporter. I believe in you know all this stuff that I think is a bunch of shit. But um, you know that's their views. So whatever, you know. Um, but when it's someone is saying you know that they're they're they believe in the kind of values that let's say Bernie Sanders has, and then they do this, it pisses me off. It really does. Um. I, I just, I can't, and so I'm, I'm not going to, I, I'll just, rather than, than jeopardize the friendship, I'll just leave the platform. I mean, I've, I've lost friends because of Facebook, real life friends, in-person friends on Facebook before, although they were from uh, that friend, uh, th th this one in particular, um, uh, he... I found out, I mean, I had, I went to his wedding, I'd known him since fourth grade, and uh, when his, you know, they got married and his wife made these vows that she's property of the husband, and, I, and I'm going, where, where did this come from? And oh, oh she wanted that in there. Uh, you know, the religious uh, upbringing and such. I'm thinking, that just seems kind of out of character. Several years pass, several, several years pass. And on Facebook, you know, uh, 
he talks about you know how he made his wife move to uh, Alaska so she'd be more loyal. She was always loyal to him, but loyal, just the idea of loyal, loyalty to your husband. And I eventually find out that he, he's the one that, that imp wanted to implement that into the into the uh, the wedding vows and. He thinks, you know, he essentially thinks women should be property. He continually would treat his wife like crap. And when she cries uh, after he does it, he says to her, nothing I say can make you feel anything. He's done that to me too. And uh, after he made a Facebook post uh, to his mother, public post to his mother, stating that, uh, uh, his stepfather should have beat her into submission instead of allowing her to throw some of the some of his things out in the yard when they had an argument when, he, when they were growing up and I was just like dude no just no so we had an argument where almost everything that he talks about is some quote from an 1800s document and I, I was just like it, 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 fuck this you know and I, I ended the friendship. I, I was done. Deleted the uh, message history. Done. Just done. So. And there was another friend that I that I lost because I had made a video. This is the Minions video. That's why if you look at my, my video in relation to the Minions, it's there's a section that it looks like it's just edited edited out. Edited out. Because in the video I said, hey, hey yeah, my, my friend uh, Dan, uh, you know, offered to take me to a movie and I thought that was really cool. But, uh, uh, you know, and it was the Minions. I'm like, no, no, I'm, I'm not anyone. Oh, come on, why not? And that's what he said in text, why not? So I, you know, but because I said it in the, oh, why not? You know, I didn't say his full name. I didn't say the, the even his full first name as to the way he usually goes by. But... He demanded an apology because I made a video of him about... I, he demanded an apology and that I take the video down immediately. And I'm like, an apology for what? You know, well, for mentioning me in such disparaging ways. How is that disparaging? You, you offered to take me to a movie. Take it down now. And I'm like, no. I didn't say anything bad. I don't think I, I don't feel I should have to do that. He ended his friendship over that. Then I went and edited that section out of the video. I didn't know you could do that. Um, at the time, I didn't know you could do that. So I edited that section out of the video. Told them and said, you know, uh, it, it, since this is the way that you react to this sort of thing, you know, whatever. Um, uh, I probably didn't want to be your friend anyway. So, but that sucked, and maybe I should have been a, a little better about that, but I, <laughs> it's just me, me stating that uh, a friend of mine wanted to take me to a movie and said, why not, is somehow some disparaging thing. I, I still don't understand it, still doesn't make any sense to me. Um, some people are, are definitely, definitely incredibly sensitive. I can certainly be sensitive myself. Uh, anyone that knows me knows that. But that's taking it pretty far over the top. That friend also uh, had talked about suicide on Facebook, and I'm the only one that drove out to his place uh, and uh, had the manager knock on his door to make sure he hadn't killed himself. manager came in there and uh, things were okay and then he you know a week later told gay had the audacity to tell, to tell me that uh, I don't give a shit about him and I'm not a good friend he had some problems he had some problems has has because he's still alive and you know I I'm, I'm hoping things go better for him than they have there's a little more story to it than that, but uh, 
uh, it ended with the, uh, 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 I'm offended because it, you mentioned that I <laughs> mentioned me in a video by a shortened name. <laughs> you know. Had me really depressed. But, uh, I also wasn't willing to, uh, I'm not gonna, I, I'm not going to apologize for something that there was, there wasn't, the end result wasn't anything wrong, and the intention wasn't anything wrong. I'm not going to apologize for that. Um, and if a friendship ends up coming to that sort of thing again, you know, so be it, but I want to try to avoid that. I'm going to try to avoid getting into the type of discussion that's going to destroy a friendship. But it, it sucks. So, I guess I don't know where I'm going with that. Um, if you're still watching, thanks.